Good evening, everyone. Lean and I are here to tell you exactly what the CFDA does. So, yeah, so it turns out I was wrong when I told Karl Lagerfeld CFDA stood for Committee for Doing Acid. Yeah, it turns out not to be an acronym for Communist Feeling Dead Ass. No, it's not Communist Feeling Dead Ass. And it's a big misconception that it stands for Corduroy Felt and Denim Association. I, I liked that. I thought I was there. For yeah, a moment. we liked it. The fact is the Council of Fashion Designers of America plays a very pivotal role in this industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like they provide dinner and free drinks for the very needy people in this room. Seriously, Lena, some of the people in this room have less than 17 evening bags. It's, less than 17 evening it's, bags? It's troubling, I know. You're flipping me out. Sorry. It's horrible. In addition to champagne, the CFDA also provides a reason to dress up and suck your stomach in, and it's a chance for people like me to meet designers who may eventually make me their muse and put me on a billboard in France. Fr France? France. Maybe like Florida? Or I mean Florida, France, whatever they want to oh, do. Oh, wait, sorry. Um, the teleprompter is saying the CFDA actually does a lot more for its members, including emerging talent. Mm -hmm. I can actually vouch for this because I'm the board of the CFDA Fashion Fund. There are scholarships, philanthropy, and actually philanthropy is happening tonight. I know you just got a great bag from the coat check. It was a Proenza bag, wasn't it? I got a Proenza bag from the coat check, and it cost nothing. Yeah. It was just sitting out. I, I think maybe we should educate ourselves just a little bit. There's a film, I think, that we're going to... We don't need to educate ourselves, Jenna. We're literal geniuses. 